Well, everybody, we just got a surprise angler update out of nowhere, and it added the legendary fish and bottom fishing to the game, as well as a few different DLCs. We're going to be going over all of the new stuff over the course of the next few videos, but we're going to start out with the brand new legendary. So let's get out there and try to catch him. So while we're out here waiting for uh, Lama Stranko or however you pronounce his name to uh, show up. Okay, so we're going to take a little pause right here because I do need to correct myself. I believe the way you pronounce his name is La Mastrenka because I kept saying it like four different ways throughout this video. So I figured it's best that I just clarify it right now that I think that is the pronunciation for it. Uh, hopefully I'm right on that. If not, let me know in a comment below. Let's talk a little bit about this rotation of Legendary. So it is currently December 5th of 2023. And uh, Lama Stranko as well as the other two Legendaries on the other reserves, which I believe Goldstein is one of them. And then I don't know which one's on Norway at the current moment. But they're all going to be in rotation till December 14th. Well, they'll be in rotation till the 13th. Then they'll have their normal little grace period where there's nothing. And then on the 14th, there will be another rotation of legendaries out. So be sure to hop on and get Lama Strenko while you can, because he's only going to be out for a little bit over uh, a week and a half. So get him while you can. And then they're going to rotate into a new one. And then eventually they'll get back to him. But it's going to be probably another month before we see this legendary again. But because of the fact that there is so much packed into this update, we're going to go ahead and do multiple videos on everything that's been added. This first one is the legendary, and then we're going to go over like the bottom fishing and things like that. Also, while I'm thinking about it, they have changed up the challenges. You now get credits instead of XP. I don't know if that's permanent, but it is an interesting move to go with credits. So I guess we'll be working towards these as well. However, I do also want to talk about one other thing. This is not the first time they've done credits in the challenges. This is something they accidentally uh, put live probably a week, week and a half ago, except they kind of messed it up. If you guys were around when this dropped originally, the uh, challenges for coins, you will probably remember that they were giving way too much credits. There was some people that were getting hundreds of thousands of credits just for one mission. As you can see, we were one of those people that managed to get a couple of them done while it was like that before they turned them off. And uh, yeah, because of that, we are set for life on credits. If I remember too, I'll put up the, the footage of exactly when that was because it kind of shocked everybody. And at first, I didn't even believe that it was actually true that it was giving that much. I thought it was just some type of visual bug, but it turned out that it was actually giving those many credits or that many credits. So unfortunately, that was a thing for a while, but it is now uh, fixed and they give much less. However, I think they toned it down a little bit too much. I would like to see them raise the credit count up a little bit. So hopefully they will tweak it in the future. Enough about the challenges, though. Let's go ahead and talk about the location that the Legendary Fish is at this week on Spain. It's going to be this lake right here. You're going to be able to find him at this deep point over here to the left of it. And uh, I don't exactly know what size tackle everybody has been using on him. We're still super early with its release, so we're kind of going over everything and just figuring it out. I have opted to go with a 2 watt hook as well as the cheese because a lot of people were catching him on cheese and it is his most preferred bait. And then I've got the heaviest gear I could possibly get on a float rod. Also, apologies for the unprepared feel of this video. I woke up and immediately started recording. Didn't even give myself uh, time to really wake up or get breakfast or anything. So we're just going straight into it. It was something that I just could not wait to get done because this is an exciting update. This is a lot of new content all in one update. Just out of the blue. Just out of nowhere dropped with no warning at all. Oh, I heard it. I hear it. That's the sound that he makes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> TJO, I'm recording right now for the uh for right, the I'll lob, for the out, lob, for, No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I was going to I was going to ask you a question anyway. So yeah. for anybody uh, for anybody watching, this is CJO. He lives on the other side of the world. He's a friend of mine. He got to catch this fish like instantly when yes. it came out. And so he's he's already been through all this. But I'm hearing the gurgling and the bubbling for the first time. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Have you have you worked out how to find? Have you got him? Have you hooked him on? No, I just heard him bubble to my left. And yeah. now I'm trying yeah, yeah. to figure yeah. out where he is. Yeah, yeah. So 
it'll be a very deep gurgle, mate. So get the ball and yeah, yeah, drive he- around until it's like proper deep, mate, and it'll be right in front of you. Yeah, like I hear it, but yeah, it's kind of like a faint gurgle. Yeah, yeah, drive, mate. You'll hear it. It's so deep, mate. It's like it's like a big dog growling at you. No, it's not. I'd why'd I say that? No, it's not. You know <laughs> it's what like I mean. a dog growling. You know what I mean, man. Oh, he's right under this guy's boat, hundred percent. He's yeah, he's that, right under yeah. this guy's boat. Let's go. He's gotta be. Dude, that is so sick. I know, mate. I thought they'd done something with the water, mate. I'm like, have they updated the water to make it sound like it's bubbling? And then and then I realized what it was. Yeah, like that's his uh his special like legendary trait is that at the nighttime he'll come to the surface and mm-hmm. make that like gurgling, bubbling sound. That's kind of a cool little thing. It's kind of like the sonar for uh, Spielfin on Norway. Yes, yes. But anyway, as we were talking about with this uh, trait for him, it says right here, deep speech at night, La Mostrenko rises to the surface to swim around and emits a deep gurgling noise, which is what you guys are hearing right now. That is honestly insane. I really like that. It's such a cool little addition to the to the legendaries. They have these little traits that set them apart from other fish. So there has now been two different people that have hooked into him. I think it's finally getting dark enough to where he is surfacing. Which means we're going to move a little bit closer to the sound. And see if we can spot him. See if we can finally look into uh, El Monstrenka. El Monstrenka? El Monstrenka, that's his name. Oh. Is that him? That 100% is him. Yeah, that's him. So the sound is not coming from where he is for me. That's unfortunate. Maybe it just alerts you to his area? Because that's definitely him. That's uh, not one that somebody else has hooked. That is definitely mine. Oh, man. Is he going to go for it? Here he comes. No, never mind. He didn't. Let's cast a little bit closer to him. See if we can land right on top of him. That's got to be close enough to get his attention. Come on. Come on, buddy. Bite it. Come on, man. There's there's no way that you don't want that. There, there's no way that he's ignoring that. Oh, man. You know, I may have to try one of the other baits. He doesn't seem to be too interested in the cheese right now. He's swimming right at us now. Why will he not bite anything? I, I don't get it. I've tried... Five different hook sizes at this point, ranging from a size three to a four aught. And I, I'm putting this cheese right next to him, and he's just not interested in the slightest. I'm getting quite unlucky trying to go for this guy. It took us forever just to even spot him, and then when we finally do see him, he's just not interested in our bait at all, no matter what hook size I use. Even though it says that cheese is indeed his uh, number one favorite bait. I don't get it. I don't get what we're doing wrong. Maybe it needs to be a little bit later for him to bite. There we go. Finally. Oh my gosh. Finally. He's finally going for it. Come on. Bite it, buddy. Stop playing with it and bite it. There we go. We got him. We finally got him on. Oh my gosh, we finally got El Monstrenko on, or El Monstrenka. I, I, I'm I never going to be able to say that name right. Uh, for some reason, my brain always defaults to El Monstrenka, but it, or El Monstrenko, but it's El Monstrenka. This is going to be a fight and a half, man. This is going to be a fight and a half. Literally, all I did different on that cast to get him to bite was I reeled it in over top of his nose, and that's when he bit. So that's interesting. I'm not sure why it took that long to get him to bite and why just reeling it up in front of him is what made the difference. I have no clue. But we are about to have a fight and a half on our hands because this guy is ripping line out like it's nothing. Let's see how big this guy is. Now, I have watched a couple of videos, but I never actually looked at the details of the fish. I just kind of watched how people were fishing to try and uh, get him to bite. So I still don't know how big this guy is. I don't know what weight we're going to be looking at. My guess would be somewhere in the midst of like 50, 60, maybe 70 pounds at the most. 
because uh, the diamond ones get up to like 37. So I'm thinking this has to be at least in like the 50s, maybe in the 60s or higher, but uh, I'd say 50s for sure. So we're at a little bit of a standstill here at around 100 feet. He, he's coming in, but very, very slowly. And I got a feeling that he's going to dart off again very, very soon because that's kind of what he's been doing. Yeah, yep, there we go. I was going to say he'll give us a, a couple minutes of, or a couple seconds of like slowly getting him in and then he just darts off and we lose most of the ground that we gained. Got him down to about 50 right now. It looks like he's actually going straight to us. Looks like he's going straight to us. Maybe this will be the end. I doubt it though. I feel like he's going to have one more big run unless, oh, we got him. There he is. We got La Monstrenka. Mostrenka. Have I been saying El Mostrenka the whole time? I think I have. It's La Mostrenka. Let's hope I'm pronouncing that right, but oh my gosh, look at this beast. Dude, this thing looks insane. This dude looks crazy. Jeez, that's insane. Also, what's up with my character's beard this update? Uh, that doesn't look normal at all. Uh, but anyway, you guys may notice that we've got some really cool looking clothes on. These are one of the new, uh, these are from one of the new DLCs that they dropped today. I'm going to do a full video on all the new DLC because they dropped three different DLC packs in one day, which is kind of crazy. That's way more than what we're used to seeing from the angler or even the hunter. So that's kind of wild. We're going to take a look at those in a separate video, but we finally did it. We finally got the legendary. And I was right about him being in the 50 pound range, 52.29. So he is a massive, massive fish. Man, that was a really fun fight. It's unfortunate it took us so long to hook into him. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider doing so, as well as leaving a like and leaving a comment. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.